New tonight, we're taking action for you. A dress seen by thousands of our viewers is now stained and damaged. A girl hoping to wear that dress to prom, now devastated. Our Alex Hobson joins us now in the studio to explain. Alex? Well, a couple of months ago, thousands of you voted for Serena Fazan to wear this beautiful gown to cover Tampa's red carpet Oscars event. And after that night, Georgette's boutique donated the dress to the Bell of the Ball project. And it went to a very deserving teenager whose family couldn't afford to buy her a dress to the prom. But we learned it's since been damaged and the family is concerned it won't be fixed before the big day. So we took action. <laughs> Her face lit up the day we were at Bella the Ball. Well, a happy memory, those aren't happy tears. Danica Smith is wiping away. See ABC Action News viewers, you might remember her daughter, Dinesha. The smiling 17-year-old seen here in March was a Bell of the Ball recipient and winner of the dress our very own Serena Fazan wore to the Tampa Theater's Academy Awards celebration. When I tried on the dress, everybody was like, whoa, that dress is amazing on you. The Lakeside Christian School student was all set to wear the gown to her junior prom, which is less than three weeks away. She had the accessories, she had the matching makeup, and she thought she had the perfect dress. That is, until this happened. There was stains all over the dress that was not there before. Smith said she took the gown to Sun Country Cleaners to get it cleaned before the big day. But when they got home, they noticed watermarks and stains all over the bottom of the dress. And when she brought it to the company's attention, she said they questioned refunding her because she didn't actually pay for the dress herself. It's my daughter. It's her prom. It's hurtful. And because she couldn't afford the $468 price tag for a new one, Smith called us for help. We just want that dream to come true for her. And I've got good news to report. After my interview with this family, I spoke with the owner of Sun Country Cleaners, and she reassured me by tomorrow night she'd have everything resolved. She told me they're confident the dress will be able to be repaired, but if not, they will make good on their mistakes. They also plan to institute an impromptu training session for their employees. And on top of all of that, the director of the Bell of the Ball project told me they will not let Dinesha go to prom without a dress. Jameson?